Is Petworth Pet worth it? Let's find out. Hi, welcome back to another Coffee with Coleman. We love to discuss Washington, D.C., business, real estate, all that good stuff. My name is John Coleman. I'm a real estate agent here in Washington, D.C. with the Jason Martin Group. So Petworth is super popular. And let's give you a little history lesson about Petworth because it hasn't been that long that Petworth has been as popular as it is. It all started back when Columbia Heights actually started being the most popular little area over there. And everyone was going there. There's a bunch of retail coming in. There was the Metro. Shortly, like many other spots of the city, that started getting more expensive. As things get more expensive, people kind of push the parameters and they went a little north and North is Petworth. As they got more and more to Petworth, people started to realize, dang, these houses are kind of big. We kind of like this. This has a nice neighborhood feel. And slowly but surely, I feel like Petworth has actually become more popular than Columbia Heights for a lot of people. And it's been popular for a few reasons. Well, first of all is the price point. Houses are generally between seven to 1.2 million. Some can be higher, some can be lower based on condition, how cool it is with rooftops and decked out stuff. But that's the general ballpark. And that seems to be a very popular price point around here. For a condo, you're gonna be looking more of like the three to 650, and you can go a lot higher, like there's some pretty luxe condos, but on average, you're gonna find condos about that price point. So I find that those price points, especially with where interest rates are right now, tends to be something that people can target and tends to just be the more popular price point for consumers that are shopping around DC for first time home buyer standpoint. And the other thing about it is it has large lot sizes. So you're already doing row home. We hear it all the time. You get to share walls with your neighbors, that must stink. Well. Yeah, you do. It feels like you're kind of truncated, you're close, you're tight. But the thing that Petworth has, those lots can go back pretty far. So people like to go after those properties because it gives a long, long little area for either your furry friend. And I've seen a couple of instances where people put pools in those backyards. And who doesn't like to have a good pool in their backyard? So the area defining Petworth is kind of like three main dots on the map. So you have the Petworth Metro Station, you have Sherman Circle and you have Grant Circle. Everything kind of revolves around there. And the limits, it's kind of hard to define, but usually I say, if you go up to Missouri Avenue, it's not really Petworth, but it's Petworth adjacent. People will call houses up that way, Petworth. Once you get past Missouri, it's really tough to do that. As for eating, which I've been known to do, there's some really good options in there. I like Cinder Barbecue to get your barbecue on. They have some good mac and cheese and they have a good atmosphere and a bar going on. It's just really delicious. And if you wanna go across the street from there, you have Timber Pizza. It's a great Neapolitan style pizza. And there's a big debate about who has the best Neapolitan style pizza. And that is on the list for a lot of people. So if you wanna check out and get some really good pizza, you check them out and they have a really good brunch happy hour pizzas as well. Ooh, and Honeymoon Chicken. Honeymoon Chicken is delicious. They've got some fried chicken and all the fixins and all the good stuff. And when you go in there, you're just gonna leave with a belly full of bliss because that place is absolutely delicious. And lastly, I haven't been there yet, but people are telling me Petworth Social. It's a place, it's got a good neighborhood vibe and everybody can kind of get in, have a good time, you hang out with friends. And it is exactly what it's stating be. It wants to be a social network little spot for Petworth. And you want some fun things to do in the area? Well, let's start off with one place that I went to recently, which was room 808. It's a little off upshire building. It's very unassuming, but it's its own little comedy club. And it's bring your own food, bring your own drink. You go in there, have a good time with friends. And the comedians I've seen in there are absolutely incredible. And I had an absolute blast. The other thing you should know about Petworth is yearly, they have something called Porch Fest, where people will deck out their porches, they'll bring in bands, and it's just a huge party all around power. So you just weave the streets, you have a good time, and you figure out what's going on. And everybody just kind of has a couple cocktails, jams to some music, gets to know your neighbors, and it's just a really good, vibey neighborhood time. Also, Lincoln's Cottage has a bunch of events, from kids' events to history tours. There's a lot of things going on over there, and we'll link the events calendar below so you can see what's going on. But Lincoln's Cottage has a lot of different things that most people don't know about, but everything from 5Ks to crafts to just general social events. And last, but certainly not least, pretty close nearby, you have Rock Creek Park. And Rock Creek Park is a network of trails and hidden areas where you can go with your dog, your friends, and your family and hike around. I did a little video where I took my dog for the very first time because it was on my bucket list of things to do in DC. And I thought Rock Creek Park was just so inspiring because it doesn't feel like you're in the city. It feels like you're out in the wilderness anywhere else. But all of a sudden you go up a trail and you pop out and you're like, 
oh yeah, I'm still in the city. So I recommend going, hitting the trails, bringing a lunch, bringing a picnic, and just having a good time and chilling out and getting some of those nature vibes in. So some of the places to keep up to date with your neighbors if you're gonna be living in the neighborhood, first of all is there is a public Facebook group for Petworth. And there you can go in there, you can get the good, the bad, the ugly, and the indifferent, and learn from your neighbors, ask for recommendations, and it's a good network. Much like that is next door. You can go with that with any neighborhood, which I like. I tend to like the Facebook groups a little bit more because you get to have a real presence of a profile with someone. It feels a little bit more anonymous when it comes to next door. There is some very good helpful hints, and I subscribe to both in my neighborhood, so why not do both for Petworth? There's also Petworth News, and we'll put the link below, but they have the beat on everything going on over there. So I would go ahead and subscribe. Along with that, they have a whole list of listservs that you can subscribe to that are like subgroups, like you're a foodie, or you like music, or you got kid stuff, or like whatever you're looking to do. There's different groups that you can be a part of, so we'll put that whole list below so you can figure out who you want to be chilling with once you move to Petworth. And as for getting the rest of the city, I already mentioned there's a metro stop nearby. As you get closer to the metro stop, it tends to be the higher price points of the houses, but everything's pretty accessible. If you end up on the northern side and you want to travel south, there's a ton of bus lines that'll take you up and down 16th Street or any other street you have to imagine. So if you want to get downtown from Petworth, no worries, you have metro and buses at your fingertips at any given time. And if you grab a bike, you can just zip on down. Maybe I don't come back up that way because that's a little bit more uphill, but you know, you can bike on the way down and metro on the way up and get your exercise and enjoy your commute too. All right, so that's what I had to share with Petworth today. Was there anything that you wanted to hear that you didn't hear? Put it in the comments, I'm happy to answer it. Also, I would love to know what neighborhood do you want me to explore next? Because I would be happy to do an insight of any neighborhood that you want to know about when you're moving to DC. And if you put in the comments, there's a high likelihood that I might be like, that's a great idea. I'm going to go do it. And I thank you ahead of time. So thanks for stopping by another Coffee with Coleman. Peace.